Please go to elithecomputerguy.com in order to view schematics, code, and more for the projects that you are learning about. Welcome back. So in this video, I want to show you how to use a servo motor with an Arduino. So it's important to understand this is a servo motor, not a normal electric motor. What the difference here is, is with a servo motor is you're able to tell it what position you want it to go to. So with a normal electric motor, you use those for vehicles. You can have the vehicle go forward. You can have the vehicle go backwards. You can have the vehicle turn, all of those types of things. But basically, all you can say is that the motor should either go forward or the motor should go backwards and how fast it should go. With a servo motor, what you're able to do is you, you're able to tell it what position you want it to be in. So kind of think of a servo motor kind of like what you would see with a clock. So you can say, I want it at the 12 o'clock position or I want it at the nine o'clock position, or I want it at the three o'clock position. Uh, so you're able to do things such as use this as some kind of like a steering wheel on a vehicle, or you're able to use this as some kind of like manual display. So maybe you want little flip cards to flip around uh, based off of certain things. So basically what a servo motor does is you're able to tell it that you want the motor to go to a specific position and then stay there until you, you want it to go somewhere else. So with that, let's go over to the workbench so I can show you how to put this little project together. Then I will show you the code and I'll show you how it all comes together. So here's our little project that's been put together. There's really not a whole lot to it. We have our standard Arduino Uno board, and then we're using an SG90 micro servo motor. Now the important thing to re remember about this particular servo motor is that it only has 180 degrees of range. So it has zero, 90, and then 180. So it can only go in an arc as such. So as with that, uh, basically all you need to do, uh, if you're gonna be using a servo motor, is first you need to power it. So we're just having little jumper wires running from the five volt and the ground. So from the five volt and the ground, and then that goes to the power connector, the voltage connector and the ground on the adapter. And then we are using digital pin eight, and that is going to the, the sensor wire here. That's going to the white wire. So basically we have the power Power wires this will power the motor and then the digital pin will tell the servo where it should be positioned so with that let's go over and take a look at the code so here's the code for this particular project. Uh, now the first thing that we need to do is we need to include at the servo library. So this is the standard servo library, servo.h. So we include that first. The next thing we need to do is we need to define the servo pin. So what digital pin is going to be communicating with the servo to tell it where it should be. And so I have simply said digital pin number eight will be the pin that we're gonna be using today. Then the next thing with the servo library is we actually have to create a servo that we will reference. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say servo. So we're creating a servo and we're going to create a servo called servo one. So this is how we will reference the servo that we are dealing with. Then we're going to go down and we're going to do void setup. So we are going to set up the environment. And so what we're going to do with the servo here is we're going to say servo one dot attach. So we're going to use this attach function and we are going to attach servo one to the servo pin. So basically all we're saying here is servo one is going to be at digital pin eight. And then we have set up the environment. Then all we're going to do is we're going to go down into a loop. And for this loop, all I want to do is I want to move the servo into different positions. So we're going to go servo one, so servo one dot right, and we're going to say go to zero degrees. So this is zero degrees. Then we're going to delay for two seconds, 2000 milliseconds, then servo one dot right, 45. So then we're gonna to go to the 45 degree. Delay for two seconds, servo one dot right, 90. Uh, delay for two seconds, servo one dot right, 180. So, and then delay two seconds. So all I'm going to do with this particular project is I'm simply going to move through at these different angles. It is important to understand, it doesn't have to be 45. It could be 41 or 39 or 32. Basically, you can position the servo motor to anywhere between zero to 180 degrees. And you can also position the servo motor as a value of variable. So let's say up here, you do some math, you come up with the angle you want the 
servo motor to be in, you can actually plug the value of a variable here and then it will move to that particular position. But this here, I'm just showing you, I'm having it move through these four different positions and then it will loop through just to give you the idea of how this works. So let me upload this code to the Arduino and I'll show you this in action. So I've uploaded the code to the Arduino. Uh, more or less, as soon as I plug the Arduino in, it's going to start moving the servo motor around. So I haven't plugged it in yet. Uh, now one thing, just to make this a little easier visually, is I have uh, marked off this one side with this little black indicator here. And so this black indicator will show you as, as the servo motor moves around. Uh, with that, let's plug this thing in and see how it works. Okay, so it's at zero. Then it goes to 45, then it goes to 90, then it goes to 180, then it goes back to zero, then it goes to 45, then it goes to 90, then it goes 180, and there we go. That's, that's the excitement that we get for today. But this is basically what a servo motor allows you to do, is it allows you to position the motor into a specific position. Again, depending on what you're doing, whether you're trying to make some kind of signage or some kind of alert system, whether you're trying to steer a vehicle, something like that, this allows you to move a motor to the specific position to do what you need done. So that's really what there is to servo motors. So servo motors are motors that allow you to position them to specific angles. Again, zero, 35, 45, 90, so on and so forth. You can use this in many, many different ways. Now, one of the things that I will warn you about, especially when you're dealing with inexpensive Arduino projects, is it'll come as a shock to you. But when you deal with inexpensive little gadgets, they're not exactly the most accurate things in the world. And so this is something that you should just keep in mind with your code. Uh, so I found that with this, for some reason, if you set it to the zero angle, it tries to overextend itself and it kind of jitters a little bit. So if I was going to put this into a production vehicle or something, instead of setting to zero, I might set it to like one or two or four um, because there's something, there's something wrong with a little sensor mechanism in there. And when you tell it to go to zero, it actually tries to go too far. On the other hand, with this particular servo motor, and they should be the same, they're both SG G90s, but they're from different manufacturers. Um, with this particular one, with the arm on here, when I put the arm on it, it's it's ever so slightly off. And so when I have when I put this to 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 zero, see zero should be like this, but with this one with, with the arm, zero is more like this, which means 45 is more like this, and 90 is more like this, and 180 is more like this. So that's just something to be thinking about when you're going to be creating little projects using these servo motors, is always test your code on the actual finished product and just realize realistically, you may have to adjust the, uh, the settings for the servo motor by a couple of degrees one way or the other. If it's supposed to be at 90 degrees, you may end up having to put it at 93 degrees or 87 degrees so that it lines up perfectly. If you simply write you know, one sketch and then deploy it to a hundred different servers, I will guarantee you, you'll probably get a hundred different results. At least when you're using inexpensive. And again, if you're talking about these servo motors, I think you can get them for like two to three dollars a piece. So when you're dealing with two to three dollar servo motors, just keep this in mind. If you're dealing with thirty or fifty dollar servo motors, it's probably not such a big deal. But again, especially at your level, if you're watching this type of video, just keep in mind when you write the code, you may have to adjust. Again, instead of making it zero, you might have to make it two or three. Instead of making it ninety, you might have to make it eighty-seven. All based off of how well this the sensors are calibrated within the servo and then just physically how everything fits together again three dollar gadgets are made like well three dollar gadgets so as always i enjoyed doing this video and look forward to seeing you at the next one